What is the last thing you do right before you pour a concrete slab? And that's not like a trick question. It sounds like a setup for a joke. I mean that sincerely. What's the last thing that I should be doing right before I'm going to pour concrete? Pouring concrete's a big deal. It's a, probably a big day for you. What should you do? Very last thing. No, the answer is not have a cigarette, shotgun a beer, any of those fun things. The answer is to saturate the area that you're going to be pouring this concrete. The technical terminology is SSD, saturated surface dry. And what that means is the substrate that you're pouring on, and most commonly this would be, let's say, gravel over top of earth. And you want to soak that area with so much water that it's saturated. And saturated simply means it cannot absorb any more water. You soak to the point of saturation. And that's why there is the second half, which is surface dry. Because if you're soaking it with that much, you're, you're literally going to have pooling water in some areas. But that wouldn't be okay, right? Because we need surface dry. Saturated substrate surface dry conditions, SSD. That is the last thing you should be doing right before you apply your concrete because if you wait any amount of time, then you're no longer at SSD conditions. In fact, you probably, depending on the size of the slab, should be continuing to water that substrate directly before you get to that area where you're applying concrete. This is something that is done to prevent the substrate from leaching out the moisture, basically wicking out all of the water that was used in making and batching your concrete. You need that water for the chemical actuation and hardening process for your concrete slab. If your substrate steals all the water, which it will if you if you allow it to, it can and will compromise your finished strength. It can and will compromise the setup time that it takes and how well you're able to trowel and finish this concrete that you're applying. In general, it's one of the easiest things to correct and one of the biggest mistakes that you can make when pouring a concrete slab. You don't want to rob your concrete of the moisture it needs, and if you haven't uh, created SSD conditions with your substrate, then that's exactly what's going to happen. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and you're going to learn a ton about how to work with concrete.